Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Sorry for the delay in this tutorial, had a very busy weekend, uh, but I'm gonna crack back on. Again, if you have any issues, just join the Discord and uh, let me know, and I'll try my best to help. All right, so we're actually gonna be tidying up a few things. We're actually gonna be finishing off the movement so that we can move on to something else. Um, so to start this episode off, uh, I'm actually just gonna add another input. So I'm going to make it so we can choose between the sprint being a toggle or a hold. Um, and to do this I need one more trigger. So we're going to add another action for sprint released. Um, and for the binding I'm just going to put uh, left shift again. And for interactions I'm actually going to put press and then change it to a release only. And that should do it. So I'm going to save asset and we'll go plug it in. Alright, once that's saved, let's go over to our script. And we'll actually come down to where we have toggle sprint. So I'm going to open that up. Um, and I'm actually going to do something similar, but we're going to change it a little. So let's duplicate that function. And I'm actually going to change it to stop sprint. And then all we're going to do is set sprinting to false, just like that. So now all we really need to do is point that action to this function here. So let's go over to our awake. We'll just duplicate this. And instead of sprint, uh, we'll use our sprint released. And instead of toggle sprint, we'll use stop sprint. So. This little change would basically stop us from sprinting as soon as we release the key. So let's just quickly test that. So if I, um, we'll use these cubes to judge the distance. If I start sprinting and then I release sprint, you see it stops. Cool, effectively uh, making it behave as a hold input instead. So what I actually want to do is hook this up to a boolean though. So we can turn it on and off depending on whether I want it in the game or not. Uh, maybe later down the line it might be nice to turn it on and see if it plays a little better. Um, and of course if you want this in your game just uh, leave the boolean on true. So I'm going to create another header and I'm going to call it sprint sprinting. And we'll pop our bool in here so we'll just create a public bool um, and we'll say sprinting hold. Um, I think that'll be okay. I mean we can always come back in later and change the name. Um, or shall we say stop, stop sprint? No, 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 I don't actually know what to call it. We'll just we'll just leave it like that. Um, and then we'll go over to our new function that we created and we'll uh, basically just check if that setting is enabled. So we'll say if uh, player settings dot sprinting hold um, then we set is sprinting to false okay so basically if this boolean is true sprinting will behave as a hold instead of uh, a toggle so let's open up unity and just make sure that that boolean actually works so that is in our player settings on our player so let's look for that boolean sprinting hold all right let's give it a test let's make sure that works All right, so that's working as it did before. And then if I enable sprinting hold, we'll just double check. Yeah, there we go. Now you have to hold sprint to sprint. Cool, all right, I'm gonna leave that disabled for my game though, but of course, if you want it enabled, just make sure that little Boolean is ticked. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna work on is the smoothing the movement speed. Uh, so as you can see, it's kind of instant speed. There's no build up to it whatsoever. Um, so if you're going for a very arcadey feel, uh, this would probably be quite nice. Uh, but I'm gonna go for the more sort of realistic feel. Um, so it's gonna be um, quite simple. We just need to smooth damp the, uh, the movement. So if I go over to calculate movement, I'm gonna create two new variables um, to house our movement. So we'll create a private vector three for our movement speed. And we'll also, um, actually we'll call that new movement speed. 
and we'll also we'll duplicate that because we also need the same thing for velocity. And let's just go into our models um, and what we'll actually do is create another header or actually we'll use the same header. Let's change that to movement settings. So we'll have our sprint hold settings um, and then we'll also have another setting for our public float uh, movement smoothing. Okay, so we're going to be using movement smoothing to smooth the movement. So let's go take our new variables down. And you can see here where we just set it instead. Instead of creating a variable, uh, we'll use our variable. That uh, looks like a spell movement wrong in our variable. That's why that didn't work. So let's just make sure that that's spelled correctly. Scroll back down. Okay, but instead of just setting it straight up, we're going to smooth damp it. So I'm going to cut that so that I can paste it in a minute. And we're just going to do a vector 3 dot smooth damp. And then it's the, the value we want to smooth damp. So that'll be our new movement speed. What we want to smooth damp it to. So here I'm just going to paste. Uh, we want to smooth damp it to what we originally setting it to. Um, and then another comma. And this is going to want our velocity, so we want our new movement speed velocity. Um, and then the speed, which we put in our player settings. So that was player settings dot movement smoothing. Cool. Um, don't forget that it's referencing this variable, so it's not actually taking it as an input, so we need to just uh, pass it in as a reference. Okay, and straight like that it'll work. Um, the only issue we'll have is now that this vector 3 is being smooth stamped, um, these these values down here is going to behave a little bit funny. So I'm just going to comment these out for now and we'll plug them back in in a sec. But let's go ahead and check that our smoothing is working. Alright, so let's go into our player settings and just make sure that we have a default value for movement smoothing. Um, I'm going to change it to 2 just so that it's very drastic and I can see it work. Uh, so I'm going to hit play and just make sure that um, there is smoothing in the movement, which you can see there is. Um, so there's one issue. Um, so obviously we are then converting the same movement into a transform direction. Um, so what I think we should be doing is setting a new movement here. Um, so let's just go var and we'll just uh, call this movement speed. And that'll take the transform direction. Um, and then what we'll actually do is let's uncomment these back in. And instead of using our new movement speed, let's go ahead and call movement speed. And we'll pop that in there. All right, so let's give that a test now and see how that behaves. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit, hit play and see, see, and hopefully it's working. You can see if I move back, there is a huge delay uh, to get the speed and there's also a huge delay in slowing down. So you can see our smoothing is definitely working and if I hold shift you see there's a lot of smoothing going on which is good just makes our, our jumping works which it does. So really the only thing left is to now decide a value for this. Um, so I'm going to go very subtle I'm going to let's try 0.4 um, it's really just playing around and seeing what feels best. Obviously you don't want too much of a delay because it'll appear like you're sliding around. So this like this is too much. So let's lower that a little bit more. I just wanted to stop it from being instant. Okay, that looks like a little bit too much as well. So let's go 0 0.2. Okay, that's looking a lot nicer. Cool, it's looking a lot nicer. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 0.2 and while I'm here I'm also going to turn down the sprinting speed. Uh, so I've got our running forward speed here. I'm going to change that to 6 um, and our strafing can go from 3 to 4. Okay, so now uh, the movement should feel a lot smoother. 
walking around and sprinting. Um, so that sprinting feels a little bit too slow now. So instead of six, let's go for a for a seven. Um, I'm going to play around with these values anyway, but at least that's working now. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, the next episode is going to be the final episode for the movement, uh, where we basically just make reduced movement in the air and uh, reduce the movement when we're crouched and then reduce the movement when we're prone. Um, so I think we'll finish it off nicely um, and then we can start moving on to our weapons um, and actually get our weapon controller to work. So thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, join the Discord if you need any help.